Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's see once again the explanation given by Arrhenius. He explained that K is A e to the power minus A by RT. That is the equation he gave. Now he's telling that this fraction which he's telling, this corresponds to the fraction of molecules which has, this is nothing but molecules whose kinetic energy is greater than energy of activation. This is not true molecules. This is this corresponds to only molecules whose activation energy is greater than kinetic energy is greater than energy of activation or activation energy. So when you increase this temperature, this value is increasing. Correct? On increasing this temperature, this value is increasing. That means the number of molecules whose kinetic energy is greater than Ea, for example, this shade. This is increasing because these molecules take part in reaction. In reaction, and this side, the molecules don't take part in reaction because their kinetic energy is lesser than activation energy. They are not capable of taking part in the reaction. They are not having that much speed. Correct. So with that, he gave this explanation. So. So let's see his uh, equations. He has this k is equal to a e to the power minus e a by r t. Correct? And he told that this is the one which is taking part in the reaction. Molecules that take part in the reaction. You take log on both sides, you get ln k is equal to ln a minus e a by r t. With this, he draws this graph. If you see ln k, k is what rate and he is telling rate is changing with temperature this is a variable. So let this be y. ln a is what initial concentration this is a constant value. And here we have t. Right. So, so since it is 1 by t, so I will take 1 by t as x. So in x I will plot 1 by t in y l plot l and k and if you see this this is nothing but y is equal to y is equal to mx plus c graph c is minus constant and mx is this so m is nothing but minus e a by r so if you see slope is nothing but minus e a by r so compare these two equation l and k is equal to l and a minus e a by r t and y is equal to mx plus c where y is l and k and x is 1 by t then you will find the slope as minus e by r. So with that, if you draw, plot the graph, you will get this kind of graph. So plot of ln k and 1 by t will give you a straight line with a intercept ln a and the slope will be minus e by r. If you take log here, then this becomes e by 2.303 r minus e by 2.303 but we took ln here. If you take log, then you have to take care of this 2.303 conversion thing. Right? And this method is used to find energy of activation. Generally, they draw the graph with ln k and time. Rate is easy to find. Time obviously is easy to find. With the slope, they can find the energy of activation, right? And please note this equation, this equation, the results are in agreement with the experimental values. In fact, this result, this uh, equation was formed using experimental values only. So he, he did a lot of experiments, he had all the experiments jotted down and he found that this is the formula which suits all the equation or it suits all the experimental data. And it has been seen that scientists have done a lot of experiments, other experiments also, and all the experiments are fitting into this equation. Correct. But chemists begin to think more about, is there a better explanation? Is there a better explanation for this? We'll talk about that later, right? Before that, let's take one example. So we just told that we can easily find activation energy. So we'll take, uh, one 
example it says it says that the activation energy for this reaction is given so e is already given temperature is given we have to find the fraction of molecules of reactant having energy equal or greater than activation energy that means we have to find this part right which is the fraction of molecules which has energy greater than activation energy we'll use this formula k is equal to a e to the power minus E A by R D. So Arrhenius told that this is nothing but this will tell you the fraction of molecules which has energy greater than uh, kinetic energy greater than activation energy. Right? This is nothing but this part tells or denotes fraction of molecules with kinetic energy greater than activation energy. Right, because this part does not have any unit. Any unit. This is just a mathematical number which will tell you the fraction. So let's find the value of this. E to the power minus E A by R. Let's plug in the value. E to the power minus E A to zero nine point five kilojoule. So let's convert into joule. This becomes two zero nine uh, two zero nine five double zero joule per mole. I double do this. I convert it from kilojoule to joule per mole. Divide by R. R is eight point three one four joule per kelvin mole, and temperature has to be in kelvin five eighty one k. K k cancel. Mole mole cancel. Joule joule cancel. Solve this. This is nothing but e to the power four. 3.4 solve this, this is 1.4 so into the power minus 19 that means only this much fraction of molecules will have kinetic energy greater than activation energy and thus if you see a lot of reactions are slow at low temperature because there are very few molecules which are capable of reacting once you increase the temperature the number of molecules which are capable of reacting increase and the reaction rate increases thank you Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.